In this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to set up and analyze some heat capacity calibration data using standard DSC on a Discovery DSC. To set up and analyze the heat capacity calibration for direct heat capacity on the Discovery DSC, you need to select the calibration menu item. You, you do have to make sure that you are completely through the T0 cell constant and temperature calibration sets before you can calibrate standard heat capacity. Once you do this, you can select New, and it will ask you information specific to that, that piece of calibration material. In this case, we are going to choose Sty uh, Sapphire. You can enter in operator and project name but make sure that you have the specific location in the auto sampler tray for that sapphire and the exact mass of that sapphire. You also need to make sure that you have the correct pan type selected and that you have your pan mass selected. In this case, we have our sapphire crimped in a T0 aluminum. It weighs 53 milligrams. Our sample mass goes in this location here. Make sure that you enter in the specific upper and lower temperature limits for that sapphire so that you can calibrate through the entire range of your, of your experimental interest. In this case, we're calibrating from minus 90 to 400 degrees Celsius. Once you have this information entered in correctly, you can either send it to the running queue and run automatically, send it to the, de the design view for further manipulation, or you can throw it into the running queue where you can examine it once again before you start the experiment. Here, once you double check this, you can say start or start the experiment with the green button. Once this data file is collected, it will either still be open in the results pane or you can manually open the Sapphire data file. Once open, you simply need to select the data file go to the Calibrate button and select Heat Capacity. Once here, it should automatically calibrate your Sapphire. You can then say Save and Apply to bring you back to the calibration data file. And, and you should have calibration data set, in, set up in this, in this uh, window here. Once you have that saved, you can then start running experiments to collect heat capacity.